Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. As you know, I absolutely love Lexus GX. In fact, I own two of them, both are 2023. This is one of them because they represent everything Lexus stands for. Reliability, quality, good engineering, solid manufacturing. But at the same time, the current Lexus GX is quite outdated, as you know, because so many things have not changed for so many years. And that's why I'm so excited to see the 2024 Lexus GX because it's everything that I imagine what the Lexus GX should be in the new generation. And if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you will remember that I predicted many things that didn't end up being true for a new generation 2024 GX, including the powertrain, which is a 3.4 liter twin turbo V6, the fact that it will stay as a body on the frame, they will continue to be built in tire factory in Japan, so forth and so forth. But at the same time, there has been many, many surprises about the new generation GX and those are some of the things I want to talk about because it's what makes the new GX very fascinating indeed. In fact, I can think of 25 surprises about the 2024 GX that perhaps even I didn't expect. So let me go over each one of those things so that we can discover together more about the 2024 Lexus GX. Let's go. Welcome back. So what are some of those surprises in terms of 2024 Lexus GX? Well, the first surprise is the fact that Lexus decides to introduce the all-new version before the proposed Land Cruiser. We know the Land Cruiser is coming sometime in the next little while, but traditionally, Toyota always introduced their version of a new model first, and then Lexus followed with their introduction. So I was a little bit surprised that the GX came first, but that's okay because I'm sure the Land Cruiser introduction is coming very soon as well, as many of us have already predicted. So that's my first surprise. The second surprise is a good surprise, and that's to do with the overall design. I was already speculating that the new GX will be more rugged, off-road looking, and more like a Mercedes G-Wagon and a Ford Bronco than ever before. But I didn't expect to see such a rectangular and such a radical departure in terms of new design. It is a beautiful design. I really like it a lot. Uh, and I like it a lot more than the current GX, which really looks outdated now. Uh, but many of us were taken back that it has some of that Mercedes G-Wagon or a Land Rover Defender look to the point where if you actually remove the Lexus badge and stick on the Land Rover badge, it almost kind of looked like a variation of a Defender model. But it doesn't matter because either way, it looks great. It still has a Lexus DNA and I absolutely love the design. The third surprise is related to the second surprise and it's the fact that Lexus has gone all out to making sure that the GX has the off-road look and away from kind of a upscale luxury look because you can't even get a chrome grille anymore on the new GX. It only comes in blackout grille. As you can tell in my 2023 GX, it's not blacked out, it's not quite chrome, but it's kind of a, a dark gray semi-chrome. So that's what we have on the 2023. But the interesting thing is that the new version only has black grills. Regardless of which trims you order or what models you pick within the GX lineup, they all have the blackout front grille. So that's a bit of a surprise to me. And it's an indication that Lexus really want to push the envelope in making the GX look very different from previous GXs. The fourth surprise is about the powertrain, not the standard engine, which is a 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 as predicted, but the optional hybrid engine. Interesting enough, the American press release and the Canadian press release did not specify what kind of hybrid version we're going to get, only that we will eventually get a hybrid version of the GX. But if you look at the global press release that came from the Japanese side of things, it specifically says that the hybrid will be the 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine hybrid, as opposed to the expected 3.4 liter hybrid version. So that's probably one of my biggest surprise if in fact the North American version of the Lexus GX will have the same engine as what they mentioned in the global version of the press release. Then we will indeed end up with a 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder hybrid system, much like what we see in the new Tacoma, as opposed to the 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 hybrid that we see in the new Tundra, the new Sequoia, and also perhaps in the future Lexus LX. So that's probably a big surprise for me because they're splitting the V6 engine and the turbocharged four cylinder engine in the same model. The fifth surprise is how wide the new gen Lexus GX is. In fact, the new version is 83.22 inches wide, which is even wider than the Toyota Tundra or Toyota Sequoia. Now, to be honest, much of that width probably comes from the, the bulging fenders on the side and some of the 
fender flares and not so much the actual width of the body, but still 83 inches is pretty wide for a Lexus GX. The sixth surprise is about the fuel economy. Now we don't have anything official yet, but they're estimating to be 17 miles per gallon combined fuel economy, which is only about a mile per gallon better than before. So that one maybe requires a whole new video because I'm not quite convinced that is going to be the accurate number. And maybe that is more for the overtrail model, which has a big beefier tires, which is 33 inch and so forth. And that does in fact decrease the fuel economy. Also keep in mind that the new gen Lexus GX is quite a bit bigger length, width, height, everything is bigger. And so you're not comparing Apple to Apple when you're comparing 2023 GX to 2024 GX because the new version is almost the same size as the big Lexus LX. So yes, it is a bit of a surprise that it's 17 miles per gallon, but you have to keep in mind that the new Lexus GX is actually one size bigger than the current GX. Either way, I'm gonna kind of hold my comments on this one until we get official numbers, then we can talk about it a little bit more. The next surprise is the fact that Lexus even introduced this new Overtrail and Overtrail Plus models. We just didn't expect that in terms of the name or the fact that they're going to introduce this kind of off-road version of the GX, which basically means that Lexus has a TRD Pro version of the Lexus GX. It's a big surprise because there are no other Lexus models that is as dedicated to off-roading as the new Overtrail models. I think it looks great. It's a version I would definitely buy for sure uh, but the name and the fact that they went that far into the off-roading side is something that surprised all of us. But at the same time, I'm a bit surprised that the Overtrail models are basically the same design as all the other models, including the grill, the front end, the rear end. So even though they have uh, uh, bigger tires and off-road equipment, the basic philosophy and design remains the same, and that is my eighth surprise. The ninth surprise is the fact that Lexus is actually offering a true off-road capable 33 inch tires on the new Overtrail models, something that was never offered as a standard equipment from Lexus before. Along with that, there are a number of other off-road features I'll talk about in a minute. And all of that makes Overtrail quite special and that is still a surprise to me. The 10th surprise is to do with the seat design. I really love the whole concept inside the new GX, but what surprised me is that the Overtrail models have a green accent. So the seats actually have a mixture of the um, fake leather, we call it Nulux, with green colored suede materials, which is probably Alcantara. And that kind of surprised me because why is it a green color? I guess because it's to do with the environment or maybe forest, but something that Lexus hasn't done before to mix that kind of uh, accent color with the normal seating. The 11th surprise is a good one. And that is the Overtrail models have a center differential and a rear locking differential as well. And once again, this is something that uh, we haven't seen in a GX before, but it's amazing to see both locking differentials offered a new GX, allowing the 2024 GX to be a true capable vehicle wherever you go. So that's a bit of a surprise. The 12th point maybe isn't a big surprise because I kind of predicted it, but still a bit of a surprise to see the E-KDSS suspension finally in the new GX. So that one is quite different from the mechanical version of the KDSS suspension and it has some advantages over the old version just because it's a little bit more flexible and it's really probably well engineered. We'll have to experience it on the road to see how that actually works. But I'm looking forward to finding out more about the E-KDSS. Now please keep on watching here because I've still got more surprises about the new Lexus GX. And the 13th surprise is that they removed the third seating and the third row of seat only for the Overtrail model. And I know that's most likely because they want to market the Overtrail as more of a go-getter, off-road type vehicle as opposed to a passenger vehicle, but there was no engineering reason to remove the third seat. So that kind of surprised me because I would have preferred to buy the Overtrail with a third seating just so that I can carry extra passenger if I have to. But regardless, that's the business decision they made, so we'll have to live with that. The 14th surprise is to do with the color. As you may know, I'm planning to buy the Overtrail version of the GX, and actually the color selection is really good, and I'm really happy to see Nori Green remaining in the lineup. But there's also a brand new color that is only for the Overtrail, and it's called the Earth Color, E-A-R-T-H, and it's kind of like a light beige color. And that surprised me because it's not very much in alignment with what Lexus normally offers. Um, but I do admit it looks really great. It's not for me, perhaps I prefer the green or the gray, 
but uh, it does look really good and perhaps it could be one of the hottest color in the GX lineup. The 15th surprise is the fact that Lexus is offering blackout roof, but only for the over trail model. I thought they would offer that for other trim models, but for now, the only way you can get the blackout roof with a two-tone treatment is for over trail. There's more surprises. The 16th surprise is a towing capacity, which is very impressive at 8,000 pounds. I kind of thought that Lexus wouldn't worry too much about the towing capacity because in the current Lexus GX, they even removed the tow hooks that was standard in the previous Lexus GX. So I kind of assume that they're not emphasizing towing or towing capacity anymore. But surprisingly for 2024 GX, they're really emphasizing the fact that it can tow 8,000 pounds. The 17th surprise is the fact that Lexus unveiled GX way before the actual arrival in a dealership. It looks like the 24 GX will come sometime end of this year or early 2024 calendar year which is half a year away and I would have assumed that Lexus wouldn't show us a new model until they're three to four months away from dealership. So this is a good surprise the fact that they're showing us cars earlier and earlier. I have 18 inch wheels and tires on my 2023 GX but the new one will have available 22 inch tires and that is perhaps not a huge surprise because that's the trend that the whole auto industry is going but because the GX is kind of geared for the off-road environment I didn't think they would offer a 2020 inch wheels and tires so that's a bit of a surprise. The 19th surprise is a minor one but it's kind of interesting one and that is to do with the placement of the rear wiper. Right now it's located neatly underneath the spoiler so you can't see it it's out of the way but the new one like most SUVs are located right here and it wipes this way it's cheaper and easier to engineer that way, but uh, I was a little bit disappointed that they didn't put it underneath. I know there's a good reason for not doing it that way, but nevertheless, it's a bit of a surprise. The 20th surprise is the shape of the rear view mirror for the exterior. Instead of having a normal shape like this, it's very rectangular, much like what we used to see in the old FJ Cruiser. I love that design, it looks great, but a bit of a surprise on a, a Lexus model. The 21st surprise is the fact that at least on the over trail, we don't get the panoramic uh, moonroof or sunroof that is only available on other luxury models. Even though they probably had an engineering capability to have the big roof, it's not offered on over trail. So that's a bit of a disappointment to me, but maybe in the refresh, they can add that back to the model. The 22nd surprise is something I mentioned a little bit earlier, and that is the fact that Lexus is going to offer incognito color in the over trail and that color is the exact same color that was in the limited edition version of the Lexus IS500. I would know because I own IS500. I didn't have the incognito version but I wanted that color. I am very happy about that because that is my first choice in terms of which color to pick for the GX. The incognito color with a black roof is going to look absolutely amazing with the over trail and therefore that's a good surprise. The 23rd surprise is the design of the rear tail lamp because it's got a bit of a blocky chunky look with a signature Lexus line all the way through the horizontal way. Um, but it's a little bit different than what I expected. I actually do really like the new design. It's a beautiful one. It looks really good with the new GX design, but it's definitely a little bit different from what I expected. The 24th surprise is to do with the design of the rear area here. Now, I predicted that we're going to lose the, the side swing uh, door and in place we will have the normal hatch. So that prediction was correct, but many of you guys thought that maybe they will keep the side swing. So perhaps it's a bit of a surprise to some of you at least, um, but we knew that uh, the actual hatch design makes more sense in terms of where designs are these days. And so that's the 24th thing I want to point out. The 25th surprise has nothing to do with this particular GX, but has everything to do with what the GX shares with. This one is based on the TNGAF platform along with many other Toyota slash Lexus models. And many people are surprised and rightly so that Toyota is introducing so many SUVs in the similar price range. We have on the Toyota side, the Sequoia, the Grand Highlander, along with some of the existing models. And now on the Lexus side, we have the new LX, the new GX, and also the new TX. But it looks like we're also going to get a all new Toyota Land Cruiser on the Toyota side, and eventually the Forerunner on the Toyota side. So that's a lot of TNGA based um, models in a very tight uh, price range. So that's perhaps a big surprise for many of you guys. Maybe it wasn't a big surprise for me. So those are 25 surprises about the new 2024 Lexus GX. Maybe I missed a few here and there. If so, would you kindly let me know? Because I'm really interested to know your feedback about the new 2024 GX. Do you like it? Do you want to buy it? What do you think? And what do you think of some of the surprises I mentioned? 
If you haven't done so yet, would you kindly give me a thumbs up and make some comments. And if you haven't been a subscriber yet, would you also subscribe, which will be a huge help for me. Until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.